The facts matter. Good morning, everyone. Virgo here. It is February 18th, 2020. Happy Tuesday to everyone. And I want to lead uh, this morning's video with some news that came out yesterday with regards to Plymouth Rock. Now, many of you have probably already heard that Plymouth Rock was once again vandalized yesterday. Um, so, of course, Plymouth Rock is the historic monument that's marking the arrival of the Mayflower from 400 years ago, which was tagged with what they say appears to be red spray paint on Monday in Massachusetts. But uh, one of the things that I would like for you to do is take a look at these pictures. So here we have the maiden, the pilgrim maiden. Now I want you to keep in mind that I have, you know, varying degrees of uh, emotions when it comes to these things. Uh, for obvious reasons, due to my heritage, my lineage, and then also uh, being an American. So there are... Uh, a mixture of things I go through when I look at this, but vandalism, in my opinion, is never okay. Now, when we get to this particular photo, I really want you guys to actually look closely at it, and I'm going to blow it up a little bit, because I want you to look at it very closely. Look at it around this area. Okay. Now I'm just curious if that seems kind of strange to anyone. Um, there was a recently a statue that was uh, something very similar to this with red spray paint on it that just had lies sprayed across it. Um, but this is very distinct to me. That five-point star and the dot with the uh, what appears to be like a C underneath it uh, suggests something completely different than what um, a lot of these vandalized areas suggest on a regular basis. So I'm heading off with that story. If you want to read more about it, the um, link of the article will be in the description of this video. But while we are on this particular subject, or rather just um, considering that that five-point star means something very specific to us on this channel, I want to talk to you about, as you're checking out this, uh, this photo, something that is important for those of you that have requested for me to do stories or to do uh, factual exposés on. I want to make sure that nobody misunderstands my kindness and assumes that it's weakness. I received a comment that I did not put up on Crazy Train uh, last night. It was uh, somewhere between Friday and Sunday night. And the comment was from somebody I was not anticipating that I would ever receive this kind of a comment from. The comment was from someone that was supposed to be someone that I was assisting to ensure that the people that are out there calling themselves the Moors, that are online and running scams, making crazy claims about filing false liens, so on and so forth, were exposed for the con artists that they are. And as a result of that, having that in common, because using that name of the Moors affects 
those in the temples that are attempting to try to do things that are helpful to their communities, that are not carn artists, that are not running scams, for example. But this particular comment is something that I've received once before from the same individual, and I thought, okay. You know, I've gone way out of my way to mention in almost all of my videos that I do with regards to the online moors that they are different than the temple moors. And in the event that someone is not watching all of my video, when they watch a video, that isn't something I can do anything about. Um, so if you're not hearing me say that, well then that may be on you and not on me. But regardless, this is my channel. And when you make a comment that says, no ma'am, you are absolutely not doing this properly because you are not uh, differentiating the Temple Moors from the uh, online moors enough. Okay, number one, let me state again, this is my channel. The name on the channel says Virgo Triad. That happens to be my channel. Number two, I agreed to assist in which I would have done anyway because working together is something I always strive to do regardless of what my differences might be in other areas. It's always better to have more eyes on con artists. But I don't work for anyone. I don't mind assisting or helping everyone. But I don't work or take orders from anyone. So when you come at me with a comment that says, do better, don't harm, I will pretty much just wash my hands of it. Because you're taking license where you don't have a right to. I will continue to expose because these people are harming everyone, mainly their own group of individuals. I will continue to differentiate, but I'm not going to name them something else because people that may fall into the trap don't see their videos and their online presence as something else. They will continue to be the online moors that are the con artists and I will continue to differentiate between those and the Temple Moors that are assisting their communities. But if you do not like the way I am exposing someone, then I would suggest you get your own channel and you expose in the manner you want to. Because I will not tolerate being yelled at and I will not tolerate anyone claiming that they have the right to step in and say that I'm doing a poor job because I'm not uplifting one group or another enough. My, my job is what I say my job is, okay? This is my channel. And I caution everyone, do not mistake my kindness or weakness. I will continue to go after this group of con artists whether you stand by me or not. That being said, I hope everyone has a wonderful day and I will talk to everyone soon. I have a couple of things that I'm working on right now for the website. So I will be intermittently putting videos up at different times of the day than I normally do. And I apologize for throwing the schedule off like that. But unfortunately, that's the only way that I can do this. And it's very important 
because we're already off schedule by about two weeks on what we thought was going to happen with regards to the website. It's taking a lot more time and a lot more effort than what I ever realized and what the other designer ever realized because there is so much data and information going into the search engine. But I want to thank everyone for taking the time to uh, listen to this video and for helping me to um, know that I have the backing and the support of all of my loyal subscribers um, to continue to do this because it can be quite trying at times. So thank you so much to all of you. And as I said, I hope everyone has a wonderful Tuesday. Bye-bye.